we'll let a few people come in. We've got a stack of people uh, coming through there, so that's great. I've got a bit of a presentation. I want to make sure that this is a value session for you, but I also want to make sure that this is a, a real uh, training session for you as well, giving you the opportunity to do a Q&A with me. So let's talk about what you need to know to make this a success. I've got a, a stack of stuff to go through with you um, and make sure that we get everything ready to go. Um, and I'll stay on path you know, with, with the notes that I've got, and uh, we'll see if we can get some stuff happening there. So I'll just put the presentation up on the screen. If you're one of the early people, if you can, uh, on the chat, so down the bottom corner of this screen, you can see a little thing that says uh, chat with us. If you just fill in your name and email address and uh, come into the chat system, I'll actually see if I can bring a few people into the actual conversation as well. So not just attending, but actually uh, able to ask me questions live and that kind of stuff. So if you're here and watching, just drop your details in and um, say hi so that I know that you're online. Let's um, drop that in there. All right, so let me turn this screen share on and I'll put the presentation up. So that's what people are seeing when we're coming onto the stream. Hi Alex, hi Mary, and hi guys joining us. Um, great to have you with us. So the people who are joining us here are part of the, the crew that have picked up the um, Instant Software Store, which is the WordPress theme uh, that's just come out in the last week or so. And my goal is to help you guys get up and running, but not only with this store, but with a different mindset and with a, I hopefully, an approach that will set you on the right path um, and give you some valuable advice. Marketing online has given myself and our family a lot of freedom and there's um, there's ways to do it so we'll just see if we can make sure we cover those different things off there for you. So uh, Mary, admin is me. Um, so that's Walt. Is admin. Walt is admin. So, Mary, you'll see that again in a, a few seconds time, I'm sure. Um, so again, guys, thanks for joining us. We're just going to let a few more people uh, come into the system. If you are here and early, thank you. I appreciate that. Um, and drop your name and details into the chat box and the bottom right-hand corner of your screen so that we can bring you into the conversation and a couple of you are hopefully will be able to ask some questions live and that kind of stuff as well. So we'll just wait a few more minutes as the people are coming through and uh, get everybody up and running with us. Thanks Mary. Mary just said that the new chat function is awesome. Um, yeah, it's not released to the public yet. This is really our first um, live session with the new chat. Um, yeah, really exciting stuff. We've got some cool stuff coming through as well. So this is just the beginnings. Um, I actually have just dropped in a, a massive list of things that we're adding to the system, and you'll see those coming through in the next couple of weeks as well. So that's Hangout plugin, but of course, we're not uh, necessarily here to talk about Hangouts, although I can certainly do that with you guys. Um, we're here to talk about the software store and about you being software vendors and having your own software systems up online and making sales online. That's really what we're here for. So um, we'll flow into that presentation in just a few minutes. So again, guys, welcome aboard. Drop your name in the chat so that I know that you're here, and we can start to um, start to see people coming through. I can see a few a few names coming on board that I recognise. Mary, um, with the chat, 48 hours. I would say yes. Um, we are about 99.9% .9 done with the chat functionality. Um, so if anybody's curious, let me do a different screen share. That's me. Um, I'll do a screen share and actually show the Hangout itself. So the chat that we're talking about now is actually seeing this chat inside the Hangout. So instead of having to manage it from our WordPress dashboard, we're actually seeing this inside the chat. So uh, there's Mary's question and Alex has just asked a question. So we can go to Alex and say hi. Alex will see that pop up on his screen. But of course now I can manage that from within our Hangouts dashboard. So that's new for our uh, Hangout system. Um, but again, we'll, we'll cover that off uh, with the Hangout crew ourselves as we, um, as we get into some training about the new system. So it's really, really cool to see the new stuff coming through, and we are excited about it. So 
Um, today, Hangout is about you guys becoming online software vendors. That's really what we're here to talk about, and uh, the whole reason for having our, our session today. And we're going to go through some training. Probably the biggest question I get asked is about traffic. So we're going to talk about traffic. Um, that's a passionate subject of mine, certainly. So we're going to talk about traffic and different ways of getting traffic to whatever you're doing online. Um, so that's certainly one of the things we'll be covering. But if you've got anything specific that you want to cover, we can talk that through as well. And um, I set up the... So you guys all came on board with the, the Instant Software Store. So of course I set my Instant Software Store up today as well to make sure that that's all good and done. And I'll just show you that. There we go. So I set the Instant Software Store up. Um, and it's all there working with the paper buttons and everything ready to go. So um, I'll talk about the Instant Software Store and, and how to set that up. Today's training is not really a training session on this particular software, although it can be if you need it to be. So if you need you know, quick questions answered or whatever, just let me know. Um, I've registered a domain called Crisp Apps, and that's where I've set this up, Crisp Apps. Yours will say Software Store or something like that. So I've changed the band, everything's ready to go, and the PayPal buttons go all the way through to my PayMail. So again, I can do training with you on this store if you like, um, but today is training more, more about, uh, I guess, more about online business in general. So I want to tell you guys that this is just one part of a tiny puzzle. Um, but of course, if we, uh, if you've got any questions, please drop those in. So you can enter your name and email in the bottom right-hand corner. That'll come into our new chat system. I'll get those chat requests live, and uh, I can answer those questions as we go. Remember, in being a Hangout, that anything you um, you type, I will see automatically, instantly. Um, but then it might take 60 seconds for my answer to be heard by you. So um, there's typically a 40 to 60 second delay between what I say and what you hear. So um, if you've asked me a question and I don't respond for a minute, that's why. All right, so um, that is all going well. Okay, so I'll kick off and we'll we'll sort of start the, the presentation. Um, as mentioned, this is for the people who, who bought the Instant Software Store. And this is my uh, Instant Software Store, which I installed on my domain called Crisp Apps. Um, and we'll talk about domains during today's presentation as well. So this is where I've installed the, the, uh, the system, the, the theme, and uh, this is all up and running. So I can talk about that. But what I really wanted to talk about today was, more importantly, your own mindset and what it means to have a software store as only one part of the equation. So let's pull up a presentation here, uh, and I'll walk it through with you guys. So that's me. Why are we here today? So as I mentioned, we're here because of the fact that we bought the, the Instant Software Store. Why we're here today really is because my offer to you is I want you guys to be successful. And this the Instant Software Store is, is one part of this equation. Yeah. So the Instant Software Store is, is um, an opportunity for you to have an Instant Software Store, as it says. But more than that, it's about a change of mindset. It's about becoming a seller of products rather than a buyer of products. Um, and if I can keep going with the presentation, uh, you know, I've, I've just got a couple of notes there just to talk you through. Who am I to say? Um, I've been marketing online for about five years, just just under five, I think. Um, when my first daughter was born, I was working a corporate job, and eighty hours a week. You know, it was a good salary, that kind of stuff. But it was it was a slog. It was um, well, I was never home. I was traveling a lot, and um, you know, it was just it was just tough. So I was when my daughter was born. I looked at different ways of making money, and um, one of the ways that it, that came to me straight away was a software program that I had in my head. I got together with a friend, and and we and I said, "Listen, I don't have any money. Um, can you can you do this program for me? And we'll go halves in the profits." And uh, so he did. He he worked days and nights and 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 built this software program for me. This idea that I had in my head, and um, we made absolutely no money at all um, because of a lot of mistakes, but I got into marketing online. Five years later, um, in the last 12 months, we've sold something like half a million dollars worth of software online, and um, uh, and it's allowed us to have a lot of freedom. I'm um, 
in Romania at the moment, we've been traveling Europe for the last 14 months uh, with family, with the kids, um, and having a great time. So who am I to say? I, well, I guess I'm someone that has software stores online. Um, and hopefully what I can offer for you today is uh, a little bit of a change of thinking and any advice that I can give. I'll throw everything I've got to you guys, um, absolutely everything in my knowledge bank. So you're welcome to ask me absolutely anything. I will answer honestly always. Ken's joined us. Hi, Ken. Good to see you. Ken, drop in your, um, your name and email address so we can bring you in on the conversation as well. Um, and yeah, that's who I am. I'm, I'm here to help. So the Instant Software Store is a purchase that you've made sometime in the last week. And you're here on the Hangout with me because this is one of the bonuses. And, and as a bonus, as I said, I really want to give you guys everything. So use the question and answers and drop me in anything that you want to know. OK, so flicking back to the presentation, as I said, I got the presentation just purely to keep me on track. So selling products. And the first thing that I wanted to cover is the mindset of a product seller rather than a product buyer. So here's the deal. Um, first of all, uh, let me tell you a little story. One of our trips here in Europe, we went down to uh, a seaside town and there was a big, a big museum there. And as we're walking in, um, my wife and I, we, you know, we paid the entrance fee for all four of us. And we went in and my wife stopped in the in the kind of the marble lobby of this museum and she said, uh, wow, this is amazing. And I said, yeah, it's amazing. I'm thinking of the, the, the location, the museum. Um, and she said, no, 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 I was just thinking about museums. She said, what a great way to make money. You, you get something, put it within four walls and uh, sell tickets. You only have to build it once and you pay, you know, people pay again and again and again. And yeah, that's, that's not just museums. That's every business that charges an entrance fee. But it's also software. So the thing with software is that you can actually, you build it once, you can sell it again and again. Are there risks involved? Minimal. Because you can have software built from three or four hundred dollars, you can build it yourself and I'll talk about that today as well. But you can build it once and then sell it a hundred times or a thousand times and your costs remain the same. When I was working, as I mentioned, in a corporate job, um, we had a, a software program. That was that was where I was working. I was in a sales role with a software company, and this software was high-end enterprise business software. Um, it used to sell for fifty thousand dollars a seat. Every license was fifty thousand dollars. And I was talking to my my boss, the owner of the company, multi-millionaire, nice guy, who said um, uh, the great thing is if we sell one copy out. Our expenses are stupidly astronomical, but if we sell 10 copies or 50 copies, the costs stay the same. And that's the same as my wife was saying about this museum, right? But software is a much easier animal. <laughs> um, build it once and sell it a million times, okay? It doesn't cost anything more. And that's the great thing about this instant software store that you've bought is sometime in the last week, is that you now have this. And it's a, what I wanted to cover, the reason I put up on that presentation about mindset was it's, it's now an opportunity for you to maximize this investment. Whether you make $10 from this particular store or $100,000 from this particular store, what I want to give you now is a change of mindset. So what we are launching into is becoming a seller of product rather than a buyer of product. So I talked about the fact that when I first started marketing online, we made no money. <laughs> Um, for the first year and a bit, we made no money. And the big change for me, the change, that like a light switch went on. I, I was still working the job, and as I said, I had a pretty decent salary. So, you know, I had a few hundred bucks, a few thousand bucks, you know, every now and then to, to, to spend on this online marketing, trying to get ahead. And um, one day I looked and I thought, you know, man, we've, we've made no income, and gee whiz, we've spent a lot. And I looked at what we were spending on. And as I said, like a light bulb went, I said, I don't want to be the, the buyer. I want to be the seller. Imagine if all those people had paid me for that. So that particular day, and I still remember it, um, I decided that whatever money was being spent online, I could be the vendor, the guy selling it, rather than the guy buying it. So that change of thinking actually has resulted now. As I mentioned, in the last 12 months, we've sold half a million dollars worth of software. Um, and we've had a pretty decent holiday trip around Europe. So I'm not saying that to brag. I'm just saying that to, to tell you that it's possible. 
And it's only possible with this change of mindset. Martin, good to see you. Great to have you on board. I'm glad uh, to see you there. Um, Martin's just asked me a question. Is this live? Yes. And you'll see that answer in about 10 seconds, and I'll type your reply. Yes, it is. There you go. Um, so, um, yeah, again, I'm not telling you this to brag, but I'm, te I'm telling you this because if you can change your mindset to say, now I have a product that I can sell repeatedly with no additional costs, let's talk about how to do that. You can change from being a buyer to a seller, and that's a really um, massive mindset change. Let me flip back to the presentation quickly. So you need to, when, now that you've bought this instant software store, you get to have a change of mindset. Uh, and you can become the product seller, right? Um, Martin, you're asking, what am I supposed to be seeing in your chat? You're supposed to be seeing questions and answers. Push play on the video um, to see the Hangout. There you go. Um, so you'll see the Hangout. You'll probably start from the beginning, um, and that means at about the 18-minute mark, you will see... <laughs> this question comes through. But that's the great thing about Hangouts is anybody joining us will start us from the start. So there we go. Okay. So now we've, we've talked about this mindset of being a seller. Um, if you're anything like me, um, you would have bought a million things online. And you know this may be the first time that you can actually um, become the seller, become the vendor. And we're going to talk about who are your customers and lots and lots of different things there. So, Martin's just asking us a few other questions which I'm responding to there. All right, so guys, again, drop your name and email in and, and ask any questions as we go. Carrying on with our, with our presentation, the next thing I, I wanted to talk about is what this store means for you, all right? What does it mean for you personally? It means that you have a resource now that you can use. It means that you have your own um, profit-making center. Now again, you can make $10 profit, you can make $100 profit, you can make $100,000 profit from this one profit center and how well you play that game will be will depend on how much profit you can make there. All right. So what does this store mean for you? And again, I'll just turn the store back on. I set mine up uh, earlier last week, I think, there we go. What does this mean? So this is your, this will be, if you've just installed a default, this is the same look, I've changed the name um, as you're showing how to do as well. but this is the same stories that we all have from the instant software store. What does it mean for you? It means that you can have a website with product. When people click, they can go to a, to a page, and if I scroll down, I, don't, I think I put a small yeah, payment button. They can buy it, and it's going to go to my PayPal account. There we go, bang. And they're going to buy that product, and it's going to get delivered automatically, and I'm not going to have to touch that customer, but they're going to pay me money and they're going to get a product. So what does it mean for you? What it means is that you've got a 100% profit opportunity sitting here. But it also means a little bit larger than that. It means that, um, it means that you have the opportunity to expand this unlimited. Sorry, I'm just replying to Martin. Um, the chat system, I keep referring to this new chat system. The new chat system is on my end. I'm seeing it inside of Google now instead of in WordPress. You're still seeing the chat, which was how it was. So, um, What does it mean for you? It means that you've got an opportunity to, to make your own way with a store that has a profit. This training session is not about this store, as I keep saying. It's about your mindset and changing to be a product vendor. Anything you need to know about this store, I'll try and answer, of course. Um, but it's more about what we can do from here. Cheryl, hi, good to see you. Um, thanks for joining us on board as well. OK, so what does it mean for you? It means that you can add your own products to this store. And I gave a few extra products as a bonus um, that you can add to this store and sell it as well. It means that you can add unlimited, unlimited products to this store. And for example, uh, we're going to cover off a few ways to get more products into this store. And we're going to cover a few of those different techniques as well. So back to our presentation. There we go. Right. Who are your customers? Now, when I first started, my answer to that question was everyone. Um, and that's a really expensive answer, by the way. And let me see if I can explain what I mean. So when I first started, my customers were everyone, 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 everyone. Let's go after everyone. And that's how you cost yourself a lot of money. So I'm, I really want to focus in on this for a minute. 
We're about 15 minutes into the presentation. I want to keep this to about an hour for you guys, all right? Um, but again, questions and answers, it might blow out, stick with me. Who are your customers? And we need to define that so specifically, and, and that'll come into our traffic system in a few minutes as well. Who are your customers? And let's, let's examine. So on the software store, one of the software uh, systems that comes with it, the, one of the automatic ones, was uh, I think it's a system called SEO Max. And it's an SEO plugin that allows people to get more benefits. Who is your customer? Your customer is somebody that is already doing SEO, that has a website, that knows what a keyword is. Um, try and profile these people. They are typically uh, mid-30s to 40s. They work in this particular industry. They own two or three websites. If you can profile these people, um, then that'll be a massive benefit for you. And, and let me see if I can explain why. If you can ask yourself, who are your customers, really, who really are your customers, then you can go out and find them. You can find out where they, where they browse the web. Um, you can find out what they do, what they enjoy, and that way you can target to them specifically. Okay? So I talked about this software store being an opportunity to add your own unlimited programs, and again, we'll talk about that later. But each time you do that, you need to ask yourself, who are your customers? And you can define it as specifically as possible. There are sites that you can use to, um, to get that information. And, and I'll give you a couple. The first is called quantcast.com. So we'll go to a, a website and I'll show you. I was going to do this a little bit later, but um, I'll, I'll, I'll show you now. Quantcast, Q-U-A-N-T-C-A-S-T.com. Quantcast.com. OK. Now, Quantcast is a site that gives you information about other websites. The first thing you're going to do is look for who are the people already selling your software. So if I went to Google and I typed in, for example, um, let's see, we've got some software there in our store. Let's see, what have we got? Trend Magnet. OK, so what if I typed in Google Trend Software? Google Trend Software. Right, these, if we take out the Google bits, all right. These are the, the competitors to that trend software. Okay. Here's a good one: the WSO JB's reviews Google Trends traffic magnet. All right. So if I go to this website, and what I'm doing is I just want to copy that URL. Copy. I'm going to go back to Quantcast, and I'm going to say search for this site. Okay. Ah, let's go to Quantcast. I have to sign out. Eh. Let me show you another one. Alexa.com. And I'll put in that site. OK. So now I can get the details of this site. What can I find out about this site? I can find out that they're predominantly male visitors, that have uh, a little bit of college information, that they are browsing predominantly from home, some from work. I can see where they come from. So they're predominantly uh, United States and Canada, India, um, South Africa, England, a uh, little bit through Europe and Australia. Okay, and you can see the numbers there. All right, you can see the traffic. You can see what they search for. Now this is absolutely gold information. They're searching for WordPress themes, best content, WordPress free, uh, etc. You can see what sites they go to and what pages they go to. All right, so I'm I'm getting a bit ahead of myself here. I want to come back to you for a second. So why are we looking at this information? Because my question is, who are your customers? Right? And why is that important? Every time you add something to this software store, you, if you can define who are your customers, then we can find out where they hang out. We can find out, excuse the pun, we can find out what sites they visit online. We can find out what, um, what types of things they like on, on Facebook. Um, there's all of this data out there. And again, we'll get to this in just a minute when we come to traffic. But it's really important, and I, and I want to stress this to you guys. Define your customers. Define them to the absolute finite pinnac pinnacle that you can, all right? Because if you can do that, then you can build campaigns towards those customers. And you can find a lot of affiliates to promote your products, again, if you can define that customer, okay? When I'm writing, uh, when I'm creating products, 
creating software and I give a job to my copywriter and I say, write me some sales letters that will convert. The first thing they ask me is, who is your customer? Because they need to know, who are we writing for? Okay, we're writing for a middle-aged guy with a medium to high income who has a mortgage, da -da 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 -da. because then we can start to, to tweak the, um, the information on the page to that specific profile of a person, which means you're going to make more sales. Okay, So first thing in my presentation there was, who are your customers? What I invite you to do is look at the instant software store as a beginning point. Look at the nine pieces of software that came with it. Look at the three pieces of software that I've given you. Pick the ones that you like. Okay, go with that. But I need you to define who the customers for that particular software product are. Okay. And at this point, I can tell you that whoever's watching this, you feel free to drop your chat in the box and tell me otherwise, will tell me that I'm wrong or tell me that I'm boring or um, will have switched off by now. The fact of the matter is, if you can do this, if you can define who your customers are, then the rest of the system becomes a lot easier for you. So don't skip this step. Okay. Back to our presentation. As, as I said, I've got the notes to keep me on, on track there. Um, who are your customers? The next thing that we wanted to talk about, oh, and I went backwards. What can you stock in the store? Okay, what can you stock in the store? The answer to that is an unlimited amount of product. Okay, so you're not limited, this instant software store that you've bought sometime in the last week, you're not limited by those nine pieces of software. Okay, they are a great starting point, but as I said, again, the important thing is the mindset. Okay, what can you stock in the store? You can stock absolutely anything. All right, anything that you have the rights to sell, and in fact, anything that you want to be an affiliate for. You can actually put an affiliate product in your store with a link directly to the payment page, okay, so um, that the people will go to the payment button from your store and still pay the affiliate commission through to you. But you can put anything. So let me give you some examples of where to find products and how to increase the stock in your store. You can add anything. So this software store that you've been uh, that that you've purchased, that you've invested in, right? This one. There we go. This one that we've all got from this uh, purchase in the last week. You can add your own products unlimited here. So let's show you where some of those products might come from. All right. So I'm going to pull up a, a site called Code Canyon. Com. Code Canyon. Dot net. Sorry, Code Canyon. Net. This is a great place to buy software that you can then on sell. Right. So you can go, for example, to WordPress. You can go to, uh, let's go to, well, let's go to WordPress themes as an example. Okay, and I can look at a particular piece of software, and I can look at this extended license. Now this one's two thousand dollars. Well, do you really want to buy that? But they can then on sell this this particular theme. So you can buy it and sell it as many times as you like. Would you pay two thousand for it? Probably not. But that's only one out of billions of them. So I can go to this particular blog theme here, the extended license, okay, again 2000, I think I'm looking at the same person's uh, information there. Um, let's go a few down the page, 2250, okay, hopefully I'm going to find one here that's $50 or less. Actually, if they give away $50 for a resale rights, I'd be surprised. But I'm looking at a couple of thousand bucks here, right? So you can buy your own piece of software and have the rights to sell it for a couple of thousand bucks. That's at um, Code Canyon. Let me go back to plugins are a bit easier. Mobile app showcase. Here we go. 2250 Okay, there's another one. So you can actually have a... A mobile app function plugin, and you can add that to your store. That's this. So everybody right now is going, oh, I can't afford two thousand. Fair enough. I hear you. Let's look at some other options. If I go to Google and I search for um, WordPress software with resale rights, there we go. Cool. Master resale rights, catalog, software, scripts, here we go. Boom, here we are. 
billions of them, billions and billions of them. All right, so I can say, here's a slider plugin. Okay, so I can look at this slider plugin. I can buy the resale rights, resale rights, okay, um, and somewhere in here will be a price if I'm a member. I can buy this particular plugin with resale rights, and I can then go off and sell that particular product, master resale rights. Here we go. Um, here's an, here's an ebook, okay? Again, you need to log in. And this is just one side of millions. Can be sold, suggested the price is 27 to 47. Um, so again, you can buy this product with the resale rights, you have everything that you need, and you can drop it into your shop. Okay? So what am I trying to show you here? I'm trying to show you that you can stock your own store unlimited. Cheryl, the question is, uh, if, you ha if you're selling a PLR product and people want support for it, okay, this is something that you have to think about early on, and thanks, I appreciate the question. So when you're looking at, a, at an e-book, for example, the support's pretty minimal, okay, but what you need to do is prepare yourself for the after sales. So for example, if you're buying a piece of software where, um, where support is needed, so if you look at a... Um, one of the plugins that we've got as our instant software store, and you're making a sale of that product, you need to be able to assure people that the product is going to be supported afterwards. So if you've got, um, for example, a Fiverr gig, right? if somebody comes up with a problem, you can jump onto Fiverr and you can say, hey, can somebody help me out with a WordPress plugin problem? All right, you'll be able to get it sold for a fiver, and I've done that a heap of time myself, if you haven't got anybody that you know personally. Sometimes when you look at the... Um, at the software that you can buy private label rights for, you can actually find a support link within that software as well. So when they install it, they actually have a link to support from within the plugin itself. All right? um, a lot of the time, the product vendors will take care of support because they know that it's a, uh, a stable product and they have no troubles with it. So that's a great question. What about the support? Have a plan in place so that if you, if you are offering support of the products on as an ongoing basis that you can fulfill that promise. So PLR software is a great place. And again, this is just an, one site, masterresalerights.com. That was one result from a Google search. If I go back to my Google search, um, software with resale rights, there you go. There are literally millions of them. So my question was, what can you put in your new shop? And the answer is an unlimited amount of stuff. Okay, I really don't want you guys to see this as a uh, one program that you bought that's limited. Okay, you can buy and stock your store with an unlimited amount of product and really boost it out. Okay, if you'd like me to show you how to add a new product to your store, let me know. Just um, send me a, uh, a chat message, um, and I'll, I'll show you. On as I said, I didn't really want this to be a training session on the Instant Software Store itself, but if you need that, let me know and I'll. And I'll show you. Um, Cheryl's again with the support. If there's no support, then you wing it. No, if there's no support, know this for a fact. You can get support from rentacoder.com, elance.com, uh, freelancer.com, fiverr.com. All of the sites out there have people who write software code and WordPress plugin code and all the different code out there uh, for a living, all right? Personally, and I'm talking me personally, I don't know code. I can't write code. I don't know how to support code. But I know how to find people who do. So if I have a problem, I can go to the people that, I've, that I already know can answer that question, and I can get them to answer it for me. OK. So yes, if you're selling software and there's a support, build a relationship with someone on Elance that says, hey, for 10 bucks, can you answer a question if I get questions, right? So if somebody comes in and asks a question, you can send it off to the guy that you met on Elance, and he can answer the coding question for you. So d whatever you do, don't be scared about the fact that you, that you need to know software. You don't. You just need to know where to find people. And as I mentioned, all of those sites, Elance, Freelancer, Fiverr.com, um, Rentacoder.com, all of these sites have people desperate for work. And you can drop in a problem that you're having and find a solution quickly. OK, back to my presentation. What can you stock in a store? Absolutely anything. You can stock books, software, um, anything that's instantly downloadable, and that's the key. Okay, setting up a product to sell. 
I ran a, um, I ran a hangout a, a little while ago talking about making your own product, and people were looking at um, how do I set this product up to sell. In the Instant Software Store, they actually have a little tutorial on creating a PayPal button, but there's also uh, sites like ClickBank and JVZoo where you can set up a product to sell quickly and easily. Does anybody, um, guys, again, drop it in the chat box. I'll see this chat in about 60 seconds once you hear the questions. If you'd like me to show you how to set up a product on JVZoo or something like that, let me know, uh, and I can do that for you right now. Um, but setting up a product to sell is is simple. You need a few things, and let me turn the screen share off. You need a few things. First of all, you need a page that the, the product is on, where people can buy it from. So that's www.yoursoftwareshop, whatever domain you've got, right? That's number one. Number two, you need a thank you page. So after they've bought the product, then they are shown a page where they can download the product. That's it. That's as hard as it needs to be, okay? You, you don't need to get into membership sites and all that kind of stuff until much later on down the track. If you're selling software or you're selling digital product, you need two things. You need a sales page and you need a thank you page. Um, I wasn't going to do this, but just purely for the sake of the exercise, let me show you uh, maybe how quick we can set this up. On the Instant Software Store, let's add one of the products that, we, um, that I've given you guys as a bonus um, and we'll put it up and I'll show you how you can add this. Yeah, so. Uh, Get your notepads, all right? And again, um, ask questions if you need to, and I'll, I'll jump in and answer those. So let's set this up. Let's let's do this for real. Okay, so I've got my software shop, uh, exactly the same layout as yours, and I've got my um, bonus products which I offer. Let's set up a new a new software product. So I'm going to add in. It's a new page, okay? So I add a new page, and let's call it the Finance Freedom Software, all right? Now, in here is where we want to put the sales letter. I gave you guys that as a bonus. So let me just open that up. Uh, here we go. Just browsing. OK. We've got the, there we go. It's, um, it's called the finance sales page .html, right? So I'm going to copy and paste everything from there. Copy and paste. I've lost my mouse. There we go. Now, this is not going to have all of the right graphics and everything, and I'll show you that in a bit, but now I'm just going to paste it in there. Nope. Open with... So, in the bonuses, I gave you one called uh, finance sales page .html, and I've just clicked on that to open it with Notepad, and now I'm just going to copy everything that's in that Notepad file, okay, and I'm going to, in text mode, not visual, but text mode, paste that in, okay. There we go. Now there's some images missing, so I'll, I'll show you how those work later on. But that's as hard as it is, okay? So I've got the Finance Freedom software, I've copied that from them in Notepad, dropped it in here, and now I'm just going to click on Publish. Now guys, I don't want you to be bored by this, so I'm going to do this pretty quickly, right? Let's have a look at the page. All right, there it is, Finance Freedom Software, take control with Cashflow Software. Again, need to fix the images, that's no big deal, but everything's there, right? So the images are the only thing that's missing, so we can just add those images from the graphics file. I included that in the bonus as well, yeah? Right, what about, what about a button where people can actually give us money? That's really what we need. So first of all, let's copy where this page lives. There's this page, I'm going to copy it. Now for this example, I'm going to use JVZoo. Okay, so let's go to JVZoo, and let's go to uh, the seller's dashboard. Okay, and up here in the right-hand corner it says add a product, it's free. So you click on this, okay, now, and you're just going to enter the, enter the information, finance, freedom, software. How much do you want to sell it for? $47. Okay, how much do you want to pay affiliates? 50%. Do you have a support email address or a support URL? 
where can people go to reach you if they need support? Okay. Where is the sales page? And that's the one we're just going to copy that. Okay. Paste it in there. And then the next step is uh, a thank you page. Do we want to say thanks for buying the product? Here's where you can download it from. So we just need another page. And again, in my bonus pack, I included one called um, finance help videos. So put the download on the help video page. Okay. So it'll be whatever your software store forward slash help videos or something like that. Okay. Again, I'm doing this quickly, guys. Ask the questions, and I'll go into detail. But you guys are going to drop this in here with the with the right information, okay? Da -da -da -da. That's all we need. I'm just going to click on save. It's probably going to give me some errors here in a second because I'm going too fast. List name is required. Oh, sorry. Um, for this, I'll say no autoresponder integration. But of course, you can integrate with an autoresponder as well. I'm going fast because I don't want you guys to get bored. All right, the product was successfully saved. Your product has warnings, but it's available for sale. And if I go down, I can see that it is available for sale. Where is it? Here it is, Finance Freedom Software. The reason it isn't available for sale is it needs to have a buy button. And guess what? Here's a buy button. So I'm going to go to the buy button, and I'm going to pick the one I like. So we'll let these load. OK, I like this one. Right, so I'm just going to copy this code, copy, okay, back to my page. Here it is, and I tell it where I want the buy button. So I want the buy button um, right here, okay. So I'm going to write in here buy button, so I can find it easily. Buy button. Go to the code version. Control F. Find buy button. There it is, and paste that code right in there. Go back to visual. Boom. There's my buy button. Center that and update it, and I'm done. Let's have a look at that page now. Still, I need to fix the graphics. There it all is, da da da. And guess what? There's a big buy button. So now somebody can pay me money. All right. Now, guys, again, drop any questions in here. I'm doing this really, really quickly. The point of my presentation was: How do I sell a product? How do I where, where do I sell it? What do I do? JVZoo is a great venue to do this, okay? Because they have the delivery methods all set up and ready to go. So from the um, from the bonuses that I've given you, there was uh, Finance Freedom software, there was the Image plugin, um, and there was another one as well. I think that I've given you guys. Ah, oh, the Smart Pages plugin. So you guys have got some really cool software that you can set up in your store as quick as I just did. And you can sell unlimited. Now, again, guys, I want the mindset here. This is something that I really want to get across to you guys. It's not about these nine products. It's not even about these 12 products. It's not about the limited amount of products that you have in your store right now. What it is about is it's about your mindset. It's about changing who you are from being a product buyer to being a product seller. Okay? It's about being able to set up a product and sell it online. Okay? It's about making sure that you have the skills and ability to sell online and it's easy to do. There's a major component here and that's traffic. So let me see if I can cover some of that for you, if that's where I'm up to. I just realized I had Skype turned on as well, so that wasn't helping my bandwidth any, but anyway. Guys, are you still with me? Drop in some questions and answers. I've got Cheryl and Martin there. Um, Cheryl, you're welcome, of course. Let me go back to my presentation. Okay, so setting up a product to sell. So what you need to do is have two pages, a buying page and a thank you page. That's all you need. And then you can have the buy buttons uh, created for you from JVZoo, from ClickBank, from DigiResults, from absolutely anywhere, from PayPal itself. And as I mentioned, the training in the um, Instant Software Store itself has a direct PayPal training part, so you can you can pop that straight in there. Okay, uh, the next part of our my presentation, what I wanted to talk about, building your own products. Right, 
This is where we start to get a little bit scary, and I'll probably cover this off in the next training session, the one on Friday. So uh, actually, let's replace the word building with sourcing, sourcing your own products. Um, I haven't got time to change that on the PowerPoint, but sourcing your own products. So I mentioned that there's um, sites like elance.com, Freelancer, Rentacoder, these kind of places. I tend to use elance.com. Okay, and let me tell you the way that this works. The way that it works is you come up with an idea and then you go to someone with the skills and you say, how much will it cost to get done? Um, thanks, Ken. <laughs> Good to see you, buddy. Ken's just said he's happy to follow along, so thanks, mate. I appreciate that. Guys, you can rewind. Go back, watch this again. Um, you know, I know that I talk fast. Somebody said I talk fast. I said, you have to listen faster to keep up. But no, I know that I talk fast, but you can go back and look at this again and again and you know, ask me any questions. I started off this hangout by saying, my absolute commitment to you guys is I want you to get as much out of this as possible. You've trusted my judgment by buying this product, and, uh, and I appreciate that greatly. And if there's anything I can do to help, look, I really, I will. All right. So we're talking about sourcing your own products. Um, let, me, let me bounce this off you. Who here has got a good idea? Who's had an idea? Who's thought to themselves, do you know what? It'd be great if I could buy a product that did this. Right? I'm sure all of us, um, who, who's thought to themselves after a product that they bought from the Warrior Forum or from JV Zoo, yeah, that's good, but it'd be great if it did this, 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 and this as well. Again, all of us, I'm sure, have had that experience. One of my first successful products online, and I'm talking made more than $100,000, I got a plugin. I thought, it's cool, but it's missing this, 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 and this. Okay? I went to Elance, and that website is elance.com. I went to Elance, and I, I, I wrote out what I wanted. So I said, this is what I've got, but what I needed to do is this, 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 and this. Okay? I had heaps of people, like 40 or 50 people apply within 24 hours and say, um, yeah, we can do it, we can do it. So I started off a conversation with a couple of people. I ended up, you know, after checking their work, checking their history, which I really suggest you do. Don't go with anybody new unless you're well experienced and can handle the fallout. Go with somebody who's got a good reputation. So I ended up starting up a conversation. I got that plugin built for $800. Okay, sorry. Uh, I got the first. I accepted the quote at eight hundred dollars. Um, they ended up coming back and forth. I needed some things changed, and I hadn't explained myself well enough. It ended up costing me one thousand one hundred dollars, so eleven $1 hundred dollars. That software has gone on to make a hundred thousand. Okay, I'm going to talk about affiliates and um, recruiting JV partners in just a minute because that's a major part of the puzzle. Um, but I guess my point is here. You have got a good idea, and it costs nothing to find out how much it would cost to build. Okay, Elance.com is my preference, but there's Freelancer, Rentacoda, all of these sites. Write your idea down in as much detail as you can. All right. Try and do a flow. When I click on this button, it goes here. Now that's you might have to get a bit advanced to get to a flow diagram, but if you can document as as clearly as you can, even in a Word document or notepad, go to Elance and just say how much and how long. Okay, get a few quotes. It costs nothing, right? And you might be surprised if you can look at where you're spending money. And that's my big light bulb the moment. Remember, I said this is where I'm spending money. Turn it off. Turn off where I'm spending and start being the guy that people pay. Hang on, my voice is going water. All right. So if you can be, if you can change your mindset and say, I have an idea and I can go and get that built. You can turn off spending money and you can start money coming in. Your own instant software store can be the starting point for this. Right. We started talking about who is your buyers and, and we'll come back to that in just a second. Cheryl's got a question. <laughs> thanks. <laughs> That's not a question. It's flattery. Um, thanks, Cheryl. I appreciate it. Um, it's great to have you with us. All right. Um, so. The next, the next point there was sourcing products. If you've got an idea, put it on paper, digital paper, and go and find out how much it costs to get built. You'll surprise yourself. Okay? And then need, you need to break down, okay, let's say it costs $1,000 to have this particular product built. Um, 
that might sound like a lot of money. But then you might say, well, what would it sell for? Maybe it'll sell for $50. So that's only 20 people buying it at $50. Okay? Um, my first product that I had built that I just said ended up cost me $1,100. I put that on my credit card. And yeah, it was a risk. But there are things that you can do to mitigate the risk. And here are a couple of gems of wisdom. Again, guys, drop in any questions, but I'm giving you everything I can. Um, here are a couple of things to mitigate the risk. The first thing, question you're going to ask is, yeah, but is there a market for it? So um, my, my point will be, how did you come up with the idea? Okay, Are you doing something that this idea will solve your problem? And if it will, are there other people who do that same thing as you? And where do they hang out? If they're on the warrior forum, you've got an instant marketplace. Okay, But the thing is, if you've got an idea that solves a problem, then you ask yourself, how many other people have got that problem? If it's one, if you are the only one and your idea is completely um, internal, it's going to solve a problem for you and for you only, then having it built is a question of your own personal resources. Okay, um, But if you're looking to be marketable, then you need to ask, who else has got this problem? And if your marketplace has, pick a number, uh, let's say a hundred people, then you need to be able to say, well, then I need to charge ten dollars each. If it's got ten thousand people, then I can charge ten dollars each and make a profit. Okay, but if you've got an idea, the way to mitigate the risk is to ask, how many other people have this problem? What do you think they would pay to solve that problem? Then you know that you've got a saleable product. Talking of a saleable product, um, and again mitigating risk. So you've gone to Elance. It's going to cost you a thousand bucks to get built. You go and have it built. In the meantime, you can start to write some, some uh, create a website about the product that's free to do, $10 for the, for the domain name. Worst case scenario, you don't make any sales at all. You can still sell that product, that idea, that finished product and cover your expenses. I guarantee it. So, for example, if you unless you're spending ten billion dollars on getting a program, so I'm not going to guarantee it. Don't come looking for me, all right? Um, if you spend ten million dollars on your product development, I hope you've got your research done properly. But if you spend a thousand bucks on the product and getting it developed, now you've got a product that isn't in the market. It's not launched yet, but you can go to somewhere like Flipper, and even if you can't make any sales on the Warrior Forum, you can sell that as a new product um, and at least recoup your expenses. So. Again, I'm trying to show you that this is not as risky as it sounds. All right. So we started off with how can we source your own products. I'll show you. Maybe I'll show you on the next webinar, the, the next hangout on Friday. Um, there's a program that that I've created a whole bunch of little software programs with, um, and I'll show you that next week. It's a really great little drag and drop. As I don't know software, I can't write software. I'm not a coder. I'm an ideas guy. Um, I run a software company because I have people that I give my ideas to and say, hey, build this for me. And guess what? I found those people on Elance. They've been with me now for years, but I found them on Elance. Um, so I'm not telling you anything that I'm not doing myself. Right. Um, there's a little program that I use uh, that I can write drag and drop. So click here, do this. It, it, you can tell it what to do on the screen. And that can be as easy as, let me give you an example, um, getting more friends on Facebook or uh, writing blog comments or posting classified ads or you know that kind of stuff. Um, so you can write your own software program. You can put those into your software store. Okay. So sourcing your own product, you can write your own with these little tools that are out there. You can have other people write them for you, which is the best way to go. Okay. Write your ideas down. Be specific. Find out how much it costs to get them built. Right. Um, and then, then we get to the biggest point, and we're at sort of 50 minutes into this hangout. So I really I want to wrap it up, but. There's the biggest point, and that's traffic. While I've been talking about this instant software store to you guys, and I've been uh, promoting it via email, uh, I've had a lot of people reply, yeah, but how do you get traffic to the store? And I think of all of the questions I'm asked online about making it, about um, getting there, that's the biggest one. And I think if you can solve that problem, then, then you can write your own check. So let me tell you how I can help you solve that problem as best I can. For some reason my mouse has stopped working, so I'll plug it back in and see if I can get it to come back to life. Yay, it's back. There we go. Um, let me just go back to my presentation. Sourcing your own products. 
traffic the lifeblood. I'm in the right place. Right. There's two types of traffic that I'll talk about. Free traffic <laughs> and the alternatives. Um, and I want to talk about this really quickly. So first of all, first of all, let me talk about free traffic, okay? Um, and I'm going to talk about it like this. There's no such thing. Sorry, shock, right? There is such a thing. Of course, there's such a thing. There's Facebook shares. There's Facebook likes. There's you know people tweeting your product. Um, there's entire courses spent on viral traffic, and they work. They work. Absolutely, they work. But let me tell you that it's incredibly difficult. It's incredibly difficult. Uh, one of the best courses on, on viral traffic was uh, out about a year ago. Um, Ken, you said that's what I need. Tell me what specifically. What do you need? And I'll, <laughs> I'll come back to it. Or if it's traffic, stay with me. I'm on it now. Um, there was a course released a little while ago by a guy named Chris Munch, who's a genius, lovely guy. I met him in England, um, called Hook Pigeon or something like that. And he talked about uh, images going viral, yeah? So people sharing and people liking, yeah? And if you can do something funny, then you'll get it shared. If you can do something controversial, then you get it shared, all right? I'm here to tell you that free traffic is expensive. Free traffic is expensive. Um, in my experience, and again, half a million dollars in the last 12 months, in my experience, there's no such thing. In, uh, sorry, there's, there's such a thing, but it's such a small drop in the bucket that it's almost negligible. And, and if you're shooting off right now, feel free to do so, but I'm telling you from my heart and from my experience. Um, one, of my, uh, one of my business coaches, um, I pay this guy a lot of money because he knows traffic. He can do 100,000 page views a day um, and he's proven it. So I brought him on as a business coach. One of the first things he said to me, right, so you're getting this lesson for free, one of the first things he said to me was, um, when it comes to traffic, I have two friends. And I was listening, like, I was going, oh, is it Facebook? Wait, what was he talking about? He said, Visa and MasterCard. What? And it, it took me about five minutes to grasp, and I'm, I'm saying only five minutes. Ken, traffic, yeah, I'm with you. Um, it took only five minutes for me to grasp that when you are buying traffic, you can write your own check, but you've got to know your numbers. So let's break this down. My slide said free traffic and the alternatives. Again, forgive me, water. Okay. Free traffic. Yes, there's free traffic. You can do viral campaigns. You can do things that are um, off, the, off the edge. You know, they've got to be a little bit quirky, cat photos, um, funny videos of people falling off bikes, that kind of stuff, right? That's, that's free traffic. And if you can get some sort of viral nature, cool. You can get exposure from things like uh, press releases and that kind of stuff and hope that those news stories get shared. But again, unless it's controversial or funny, it's not going to happen. So let's talk about the alternative. The alternative is paid traffic. Um, and I'm going to split this into two areas. First is affiliate traffic, which is paid traffic, so paying JV partners. And the second is traffic that you buy from specific sources. right? And you'll remember that I started this system with saying, who is your customer? Because if you can define that, you can find out where they live, what they do, where they live. That sounds creepy. Where they live on the internet. You know, what sites do they go to? Where do they hang out? Um, what do they like and what do they view? And that's where you can target. All right, and I'll come to that in a second. So two areas, affiliates and paid traffic. A lot of my business is built on affiliates. Um, and what does that mean? It means I'm paying somebody a percentage of the sale to go and find me a customer. Where does that customer exist? They could be on a forum somewhere. They might be on that guy's database. They might be uh, a, an existing customer of that affiliate, right? So how does affiliate, how do affiliates work? And again, I think this is probably worthy of 10 or 20 minutes on its own next Friday when we do the second hangout. Who are affiliates? Affiliates are people that can make sales for you, right? What do you pay them? <laughs> Lots, as much as you can. Um, I typically set my affiliate commissions at 50%. Right. So if there's somebody out there that can find me a buyer, and I've I've got let's say for example I've got a, a $47 product, and I'll pay that person $23.50 for every time they bring me a customer. Right. Good money for them, great money for me. 
and you can have a hundred thousand affiliates. Okay. Um, quick stories. When I launched my first website myself, I had no affiliates. When I launched my second one, I had four. When I launched my third one, I had like fifty. Okay. When I launched Hangout Plugin, which was uh, no keyword plugin was my last. That was a relaunch. So I'll go. Hangout Plugin was keep on that. Five years into my business, when I launched Hangout Plugin, I had six hundred affiliates. Okay. So again, what am I saying? When I started, I had zero. So everybody starts with zero. Okay. But I'm going to give you some ideas. Some ideas on how to find affiliates and how to approach them. One of those ideas is an existing affiliate platform. Okay. So you can go to somewhere like ClickBank, somewhere like JVZoo, somewhere like the Warrior Forum. Find somewhere that some find somebody that's selling a product in a similar space. If you've got a software product that's all about uh, finances, for example, like the one I've given you as a bonus, go to finance-related places, people who are selling finance services, and approach them as an affiliate. Hi, respectful of their time. Um, just thought I'd let you know I've got a fantastic finance product that does this, this, and this. Uh, I thought that your uh, subscribers might enjoy it, and I'd love to do a, a partnership with you and offer you 50% of the sales. Okay? Go to where existing product sellers hang out and make contact with them. Okay? If you did nothing else in your spare time, uh, I used to think that Facebook was a big waste of time. And these days, I spend all of my Facebook time, save maybe five or ten minutes um, a week, not a day, uh, I spend all of my Facebook time communicating with JV partners. And these are people that um, they might be talking about a particular subject, they might be they might have a lot of followers on a page, for example, a page about one of my products is PR PowerShop, um, which is a, related to domains and finding aged domains. So I did a search on Facebook for domain pages, contacted the administrators, and guess what? I found an affiliate who's gone on to make a hundred sales of that product. Okay, that's two thousand seven hundred dollars worth of sales. He gets of that one thousand three hundred fifty, and I get the I get the rest. Okay. Um, so what I'm saying is you can find affiliates by going to where people are already selling products. Okay? Approach them. Be respectful of their time. Um, know, know this, that if they're an affiliate marketer, like myself, I make a lot of money by, being, by promoting other people's products. If they're an affiliate marketer, they get, all this, they get this approach 10 million times a day. So be respectful and let them know as much information as you can. On a first approach to an affiliate, tell them what the product is. Tell them who you are. Tell them uh, what the product does. Give them a copy if you know that they're a serious affiliate. Um, give them everything that you possibly can. This is where you can sign up to the affiliate program. This is a, uh, an email you can send to your database. Give them everything you can in that first approach and then say, I'm respectful of your time. Um, please let me know how I can help and let you know, let that be the first approach. Um, I've seen a lot of JV uh, coaching courses in the last couple of months that talk about that first approach by using flattery, and I think that's fantastic. It's work. It works on me. Somebody comes to me and says, um, "Hi, Walt. I saw your product, the Hangout plugin, for example. Um, thought it was great. Um, you know, really, I'd love to talk to my subscribers about it. In the meantime, this is what I'm doing. You know, that that flattery. Find a piece of common ground." Um, and not false flattery. There's nothing worse. Hi, I really like your profile. Um, can you sell my product for me? Don't do that. Make sure you're genuine. Okay. So finding affiliates. Now remember, I said there's two types of paid traffic that I'll talk about. And the first is this affiliates. Um, and again, it comes down to this first thing that I said is who is your customer? If you can define it, you can find other people that already sell to those customers, and they will be affiliates of yours. Right? Affiliates love promoting products because that's how we get paid. So if you've got a good product and it is a good fit, let people know. Okay, so you can find affiliates, and again, I'm happy to talk about it. Whatever you guys need um, to help, have a look at the products that you've got in your instant software store because that's where we started from. Find affiliates for them, set them up on JVZoo. So the the um, the training that comes with the instant software store shows you how to set them up on PayPal. All right. That's great, and it will get you up and running fast, but you can't have affiliates. Okay, So do it on JVZoo, um, because then you can have affiliates. And who cares if your product is, is $10 and you give your affiliates 8 you still make $2 out of every sale. I'm, I'm just picking a number. Um, but 
Affiliates are a massive source of traffic. And if you can find people who are already in the space and approach them, you'll do well. Okay. So starting with the products that you've got in your instant software store and starting with the bonus products that I've given you, go and find people who already make sales to those customers. All right? They're plugins. Who makes sales to plugins? Um, people on the Worry Forum do. But there's also billions of others outside the Worry Forum that do. Okay? List your product with JVZ. List your product with ClickBank. List your product with Commission Junction and let affiliates find you. Affiliates are an amazing source of traffic and will bring you big dollars. Look after your affiliates, treat them like gold, and they'll bring you all the traffic you could possibly need. Um, but find your affiliates by knowing who your customer is and finding out where they sell. Okay, we're an hour into the Hangout, and the last thing I want to talk about is the traffic uh, on the other side. So we started this, and again, forgive me, guys, I'm talking solidly for an hour, water. Okay, the other side of paid traffic. Who is your customer? So I talked about um, finding out who your customer is by, by doing some research. So we looked at, and I'll see if I've still got the, the page open, we looked at Alexa. Alexa.com, and I can type in any website, and I can go to Alexa.com. Let's go back and have a look at that. I can type in any website, and I can go to Alexa.com. Here we go, and I can find out which keywords they search for, which is cool. Where did they come from? Where are the links coming from? Okay. These are websites that the people who are visiting this page have visited before they came to this one. So why is that important? Well, if you know where they've come from, if you know that before they came to your site, they were visiting one of these sites, then you can put an ad on these sites and you know that these ads point to your site and you know that the people visiting these sites already are in your space because they are shown to be visiting your competitors. So if you can find out which pages they go to, you can go to a site, and I'll give you a web domain here, called 7 searchcom 7 searchcom Here we go. 7 Search is a brilliant place and what, what when you get a, a, an account manager with 7 Search, what they're going to say is, who are your customers? What websites do they visit? If you can give them a list of websites that your customers visit, they will place ads for you on your website, on those websites, right? on the websites that your customers visit. Okay, So this is when we're taking the gamble out of paid traffic. And I use that word. I, I hate gambling, can't stand it. If you miss this step of finding out who your customer is, then you are gambling and I will guarantee you that you're throwing your money away. And I have done it. I can honestly hand on my heart tell you that I've done it. So I'm trying to get you not to do it. What have I done? I've gone to Facebook and I've said, I'm looking for everyone. All right? I want everyone. Everyone between 18 and 80, male or female, don't care what their job is, don't care what hobbies they've got. I want everyone to come and click on my ads. right? And guess what? I set a $50 a day budget and I blew it in minutes, 50 bucks gone out the window. Guess how many sales I made? Zero. Zero. You can only do that for a few days. I don't care who you are before you start going, youch. Most of the time you can only do that for one day. I was expecting, in my naivety, I was expecting to spend $50 and make 100 and then just keep on doing it and scale up. But I've got to tell you, unless you can absolutely clarify to the nth degree who your customers are, then you will blow your money. And the scary thing with is Facebook ads. Guys, let me know in the chat if you guys done Facebook ads. The scary thing when you're doing Facebook ads and the tighter you get that group is the smaller your target goes. So you start with like 24 million people. You think, yeah, my ads are going to reach 24 million people. And I want people who are interested in WordPress. Born for you down to 2 million people. You know, who run their own business. Born for you down to 60,000. You go, oh, I'm not going to reach so many people. I don't care. If you get down to 10,000 people who are absolutely categorically 100% interested in the kind of niche that you're talking about, then those clicks are worth gold. Okay, And you can start to adjust and you can start to um, experiment with your wording and your imagery and make sure you get your ads right. If you can define who your customer is, they are this age bracket, this type of income level, this is 
are they male or female? This is their hobbies. This is the kind of if you can if you can profile them down to such an extent, and I'm I'm inviting you to do this, even if it's as an experiment to get you knowing what to do. Do this as an experiment with the nine products that you got on the instant software store. Okay, look at those products and profile the buyers. And when you do that, now we can start to find where these people go, where which sites on the internet they visit. And if you can get a list of of the kind of domains that they visit and the type of profile of buyer that you're looking for, paid traffic is not lo no longer a gamble because if you can put targeted ads in front of the right people when they click on your ads they will buy because they because you've already done your research okay so I'm, I'm telling you free traffic um, will send you bankrupt unless you are um, the one percent and if you if you want to build your business on wanting to be the one percent in that niche good luck um, I've tried and failed um, free traffic is no traffic just keep that in mind. You need to profile your buyer. Who is your buyer? Where do they hang out? What do they do? What do they like? Everything you can. And when you can do that, you can go to some of these pay-per-click agencies like 7Search with a specific profile and say, find me these people. And chances are you'll be able to get your ads clicked on for much less and you'll be able to get better sales as a result. So make sure you know your customer. Guys, that's the, the big piece of the puzzle. Okay, all right. I'm going to wrap up. Um, I'm going to stay online and answer any questions. If you still want to ask me questions for the next five or ten minutes or so, um, I hope that it's been helpful. As I said um, in my emails, I'm so serious about this. It's changed my life, and I know that that's a cliche. Um, but as my trainer says, cliches are cliches for a reason because they're true. Um, when I stopped my mindset of being a buyer and I turned that switch to becoming a vendor and a seller, everything changed. And you've got the system now. You've bought the instant software store. You have a platform where you can sell digital products. You can set them up on JVZoo. There are plenty of tutorials um, that cover that in, in depth. You can do it. You now have a fantastic platform to do it. You have the beginnings. Make sure you make use of it. Yeah. So uh, let me just check my presentation if there's anything else that I wanted to cover. Right. Um, I had on my presentation again one more time, who is your buyer? That's the most important question that you can ask. And if you can do it, then you can funnel traffic to that offer in better and better ways. Um, and the conclusion I had, the last slide, I won't show you. Oh, yeah, why not? I'll show you. <laughs> Today is the day you can change roles. All right, I've already covered that because what I'm saying is today's the day you can stop being the buyer and start being the seller and it might be a slow process but go and find affiliates. Approach people and say, hi, I'm a software vendor just like another person that you're promoting for. Here's a product I'd love for you to have a look at it and I'll give you 50% of the sales. Um, it costs you nothing. If they make a sale, it costs you nothing. So being a software store is a fantastic way to give a lot of money to affiliates and, and do that because they'll bring you traffic. And the second is you can find where these people hang out, you can find what websites they visit, and you can put ads in front of them. And then you're not just firing off pay-per-click ads in a hope. You're targeting those ads and you will get the right traffic. Um, if you want to go down the free traffic path, make sure you've got something funny, something shareable, something controversial on your page, um, but don't, bake, don't build your business based on that. Build your business based on something you can control. Uh, and you can control the amount of clicks you send to a site once you find out who the right customers are. Okay, guys, uh, we'll do a second training session on Friday. I hope this has been valuable for you. On Friday, I might um, spend a bit more time in the Instant Software Store, for example, show you how to set up products or show you how to change or alter the pages or whatever you need. I'm inviting you, <clears throat> sorry, I'm inviting you to send me questions, ask me questions. Um, my time on this is yours and I'm genuinely here to help you succeed in any way I possibly can. So let me know how that, how that is, how can I help you and I will do everything in my power to do it. Alright, I'm going to uh, finish the video but I'll stay online for just a few more minutes. The question box, if you're coming to this page late in the day and you've missed me live, the questions will still be there and they'll be able to come through to me on an email. Um, so 
ask the questions and I'll still get them and, and flick you an answer when I can or answer the question on Friday on the second Hangout. But again, guys, thanks for joining me. I appreciate the time it takes out of your day. I hope it's been valuable for you. Go back and have another look at the points that I've raised there and um, here's to your success. I wish you all of it and uh, ask me anything you need to. I'm always here for you. All right. Thanks, guys. See you later.